Hi, I'm Hayden from Eco Test and Tag. In this video, I'll be showing you how to test and tag a basic item, as well as explaining to you what testing and tagging is. Testing and tagging involves a competently trained person inspecting, electrically testing, and then labelling and logging electrical appliances. Testing and tagging to the Australian standards helps to ensure the safety of electrical equipment in the workplace and can dramatically reduce the risks of electrocution and fires. The process commonly referred to as testing and tagging, or PAT testing, is the testing of electrical appliances to ensure they meet Australian standards. As when testing any appliance, make sure the power point is turned off and unplugged. Today, I'll be demonstrating how to test and tag a laptop charger. Once disconnected from the power point, ensure it's also disconnected from the side of the laptop. As with most laptop chargers, this laptop charger will be tested in two parts. The first component will be the IEC lead. This particular one is a cloverleaf. The second part is the power adapter. Both items need to be tested and tagged separately. The first part to the testing process is the visual inspection. When visually inspecting an item, you want to ensure the pins are secure. There is no visible damage, frays or blemishes to the lead or the case. Once the visual inspection is complete, you move on to the next step. You'll need an adapter. This adapter converts the cloverleaf to a regular IEC. Plug both ends of the lead into your appliance tester and through the menu, we'll select a lead test. The green light indicates a pass. It's important that all the results from the tests are stored. Every item will be given a unique asset ID. In this case, it will just be one, two, three, four. The appliance name is IEC lead. The reset period, as I use my laptop almost every day, will be six months. The location will be office then save the results and print off the tag. Once the label's printed, we'll tag the tested item. The tag displays some important information. Firstly, it tells you that it's been tested to Australian standards. It tells you the date in which it was tested and when it is due for retesting. It also tells you who tested it, whether the test status was a pass or a fail. It also has the unique asset ID number. If the IEC lead passes, we'll then move on to the second part of the test. I'll reconnect it to the power adapter and plug the plug into the front of the PAT tester and attach the alligator clip to the exposed metal part on the end of the plug. The alligator clip is connected to our tester via the red lead. We are now ready to run a class two double insulated test. As we did before, we'll enter the details and print off a tag. When tagging the second part, it's important not to cover up any of the labels or warnings. For more information or to find out about our services, you can visit ecotag.com.au. Thanks for watching.